they're not targeting specific people at all whatsoever. What the Pokemon company is doing is following up on what they said they'll do a few days ago when they fired the warning shot. Yeah, this one right here. Now some more than others may have made it easier to target them, but this is nothing more than cause and effect. Even though we're in a world that is completely devoid of common sense for the most part, that doesn't mean common sense doesn't exist. The best way to avoid trouble is to not get into it in the first place. How hard is research? How hard is thinking for yourself, questioning and fact checking things? Sometimes you have to go against the grain. It's funny how silent all of these distributors of these illegal Pokemon are as well as all of the recipients, but they weren't feeling that way a while ago, were they? It's safe to say everyone who's being hit by all of these bans already knew exactly what they were getting into. Now, despite anyone's arbitrary definition of what an illegal and legal Pokemon is, the fact of the matter is that these people are generating these Pokemon outside of intended means within the game and that's why their asses are being hit with these bands. That's why it's always good to lead not follow. All of you people that are a part of these people's customer service, well now's your chance to defect from their audience. They really can't help you now can they? All they can do is tell you the same thing they should have waved right in front of your faces as a disclaimer the moment they invite invited you in for their personal gain or whatever to said illegal activities. Now as for those YouTubers out there, as I said when I began this video, the Pokemon company is not specifically targeting anyone. You got the warning shot a few days ago and oh gee let me see, if I was broadcasting that I was one of the culprits soliciting illegal Pokemon, I should wake up the next day or inevitably and find that I cannot access Pokemon Home or any of the attacks features that they said they would prohibit me from as punishment. Yeah, it's not wise to make videos on illegal activities, you know, like breaking the terms of service that you agreed to. So the wisest thing to do now is the very same thing you should have done from the very beginning. Turn away from shit like this, but since you were so willing to indulge in what you already knew you were getting into, do your research. We all know that the Galarian version of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, for example, are shiny locked. Meloetta, as a another example has yet to receive a legitimate distribution of it being shiny as well as Hoopa here. The list goes on. You shouldn't have any questions about this. You can't play dumb. You should only be receiving Pokemon from anyone you can trust, preferably yourself if you can help it. Sword and Shield is coming up on two years. How long has Machamps.com for example as well as Johnny Canal and the rest of them have been broadcasting all of these Pokemon? I mean no shit, a Pokemon with .com in its name is a dead giveaway. Away. What other blatant indicators of an illegal Pokemon do you need? But at the end of the day, ladies and gents, watch your own fucking yards. This isn't about dehumanizing cheaters in a child's video game. Remember, the real world exists. Cheating in video games is nothing new. I don't give a shit what side of the moral fence and what moral fabric you're cut from. No one gives a fuck. Take that shit to church. Maybe you'll actually go to heaven if that exists too. No, this is about common sense shit where the Pokemon company fired the warning shot and followed up on what they said that they would punish concerning people breaking their terms of service when it comes to their IP. No one cares about your moral high ground. This also doesn't fix one of the glaring elephants in the room on Game Freak's behalf, like why do shiny locks exist in the first place, but at least they're doing something about a blatant thing that has been going on since these games released nearly two fucking years ago. Better late than Never, I guess. I bet a lot of you will think twice about blindly following your favorite PokeTuber or whatever over a cliff while asking questions later after being stung by the consequences of your brazen but obtuse actions. Now, how many of you still have questions that you should already know the answers to?